Hello guys, this is Mark from Two Dog RC. What we're gonna do today is called troubleshooting. I've had a couple of people ask, how do I know if I've got a bad motor, or is it a bad PDB, or a speed controller? So what we're gonna do in this video is show you how to troubleshoot a PDB, uh, like that's on the Crusaders, the Diatone Tyrants, and other ships that have a built-in PDB. Generally, it's all gonna be the same. For today's lesson, we will need your ship and a multimeter. I got this one a long, long time ago. Probably you could pick one up at a Harbor Freight or any any store really will have multimeters. Walmart, uh, probably maybe your local gas station. So what we're gonna do is we're checking continuity. In other words, does the positive from your battery lead make it all the way to your positive on your PDB. That's basically what we're trying to find out. Is there continuity? Is there a straight line that's connected? Or are there breaks? For example, if you crash real hard, did you break one of these traces in your PDB? So, first thing you do, you take your multimeter. Ta-da! You're gonna turn it down here to 20K on this little horseshoe sign. I believe that's ohms. So you want 20K on the little horseshoe. Okay, and you're gonna see a one. The one means there's no continuity. There's a break. So basically, you've got your two leads, and with the one, that means there's no direct connection between these two wires. If you touch them together, it goes to zero. That means there's a connection, there's a loop. You've closed the circuit. So open circuit, closed circuit. So if it was a closed circuit, it would be like um, turning your light switch to on, light switch off. That's generally uh, synopsis. Okay, so you got your board. Okay, so let's first check the continuity of our uh, positive and negative. And this is something you should do whenever you get a new ship or you do a new build or you modify something. This is what I, I always check this every single time. This will save you from smoking everything. Okay, so again, no leads connected. We've got a one. I'm going to go down here to the battery terminal. I'm going to put the negative on the negative and the positive on the positive. And you should see it creep up. See it's going up. That means that there's resistance and you don't have a short. Now let's say you had a short in your system. So somewhere a positive or negative wire across or you had reverse polarity, it would look like this. Oh, well, that's bad. So if you ever see that when you're testing negative and positive, you have a short. So this is good. This is bad. Okay, so now let's say for this ship, we've had a bad uh, number one, two arm. So if something was wrong on the number two motor or speed controller, for some reason it wasn't working right. So the first thing we wanna check, let's make sure we're getting power there. So we'll put our little meter in the middle. Well, not the middle. How about over here? We can see that. Okay, so we wanna check power. So power comes from your battery. So somewhere in this PDB, there's a trace from your positive to your positive. So I'm gonna to connect to the positive here, and on the PDB, it's marked positive. I'm gonna connect there. Now this should be zero. There should be a direct connection between these ports. Now, I'm gonna check from the negative to the negative. That should be zero. In other words, somewhere in here, there's a line that connects that point and that point. So it's on the same circuit board or circuit or trace. Now, if you had a short and you connected the negative to the positive and you got a zero, that's a short. That's another way to check for a short. So you've got, they're crossed. Now, so we know what, what we just did, positive to positive, there's zero. That's good, that's connected. Negative to negative, that's good, that's connected. So we know there's power getting to that board. Now here's the tricky part. We wanna see, is there a signal getting there? Because on this PDB, the signals connect there, and then it traces, and it comes up this wire and connects here to your flight controller. So there's a couple ways to do this one. So what we're gonna do is we'll check the signal from the arm all the way to the flight control board. So on this board, it goes ground, five volts, then one and two, they're marked. So this is number arm one, arm two. So you put this on the signal, which is the middle one here. See, it's got a little squiggly, and then carefully you're going to find the two and touch your positive there and it should go to zero 
Boom. So that means we are getting a signal or a connection from this line all the way to our flight controller. Now, let's say we did that, connected here, and let's say we just, we, oh no, we're not getting a connection. So now what we can do, let's say we don't know what it is. Let's take out this plug, very carefully. And now, so the number two arm, so it goes ground, five volts, one, two. So the number four wire. So the number four wire into the harness is one, two, three, four, and touch here, should be zero, okay? So this way you could check to see, do you have a bad cable or do you have a bad flight controller? So in this instance, we have a good connection. It's, it's zero. So we have a connection from here through the wire to the pin, and then we also have a good connection from the pin to the flight controller. So that's how you would check the continuity of the components on your board. And you can kind of troubleshoot and see what parts you need to replace. Do you need to replace speed controller, motor, or did your PDB sh get shot? Another good way to check you might have an issue on a PDB. Sometimes these LED lights go out, and sometimes that means there's a, a trace broken uh, somewhere. But sometimes those traces are so close to the edge that they break very easily anyway. So if you've got any questions, uh, comment in the comments below. And we'll try to help you guys out as much as we can on these boards. You can buy the Diatone Tyron Crusaders and other great supplies at 2dogrc.com. Thank you for watching. Oh, yeah. One more thing, I'd like to make a shout out to uh, Great 3D and Plastic Spider Designs. They sent me some great 3D printed parts today. Uh, great shipping, neat products, and I just got a little case for my tiny whoop. So if you need anything, check those guys out.